Greenville police are searching for the driver involved in a hit and run crash that killed a bicyclist. Kerry Williams died after his bike was hit Friday night on South Memorial Drive near Greenville Boulevard. Now people are taking steps to prevent this from happening again. Nine on your side's Madeline Ashley is live in Greenville tonight. Madeline, what's the message from cyclists? Ken, Shayla, they want drivers to be aware of their surroundings. Friday night's crash left one man dead, but now they hope this is a teachable moment for people out on the road. Mr. Williams is riding his bicycle right over here, was struck by a motorist, and no one stopped. Now in a memorial at the place where that Winterville man was killed sits a ghost bike. This white painted bicycle on South Memorial Drive has a haunting sign. A cyclist was killed here. A true accident happened in this crash. It's inhumane that the person could not take responsibility and stop. North Carolina is no stranger to these accidents. More than 3,100 pedestrians and 950 bicyclists are hit by motor vehicles each year in our state. Most of those people hit, die, or suffer serious injuries. A cyclist who calls herself and Katniss survived one of those crashes. I was not aware that there was a car coming and she hit me um, going about 60 miles an hour. Katniss survived, but lost part of a finger, got a severe concussion, and now needs back surgery. You know, it was a very bad accident, and I wasn't, I wasn't killed, and I'm left very, very, very lucky. Katniss now uses her story as a way to make others understand road safety. Both motor vehicles and cyclists have to be hyper vigilant about riding and driving. Be predictable, to drive and ride predictable, and respect each other's space. Greenville Police Department is continuing to look into this hit and run as an active investigation. If you have any information, you're encouraged to reach out to GPD. Live in Greenville, Madeline Ashley, 9 on your side.